What up, YouTube? It's been a couple of weeks. Man, adulting. It's a lot of work. But I'm back. And I got some stuff. It's rim time. It is rim time. Oh, we got my wife a new car. She got an A4 2019. She loves it. I do too. Anyway, it is time for the 21s to go on the whip. Bye bye, basket weaves. So, what I have been doing is uh, cleaning the brake calipers because they were coated in uh, brake dust. I was going to repaint them, but they're decent. Um, next time I change my brake pads, which I'll probably do because these things dust up some serious in the front. Once I do those, then I'll repaint them. And also, I got suspension coming up. It's probably gonna be over the summer when it gets done, though. Anyway, I'm about to go ahead and uh, mount these bad boys on the car. See you in a minute. All right, we're still up in the air, but we are mounted. We are mounted. Now, some people have already asked me the question, why, oh, as I continue to clean up, did I want to put my wheels on before I did this, before I did that, meaning the painting body, the interior, uh, my bolt-ons for my performance parts, all that jazz? Well, that answer is actually twofold if you if you happen to be wondering, which you probably aren't. But I'll tell you anyway. First of all, first and foremost, most importantly, I hate basket weaves. That is like the least favorite wheel of mine on any car besides style fives but not for an e38 style fives are hot on e39s e36s but not on an e38 even e34s but on the e38 it's a fractive wheel but i don't like it number two there's a dyno day coming up this weekend and i want to get some before and after numbers and these are the wheels that are going to be on the car so i want to dyno it with these wheels on the car why? Because they're heavy as shit. The basket weaves, which are right here in this little stack, are much lighter than the Style 128s. I think they're considered to be lightweight wheels. But, uh, you know, I'm rambling now, so let me go ahead and put the car down and let you guys see it. Peace. the day after I put my wheels on my car and I forgot how well worn my suspension is so it doesn't take a couple of days for the suspension to settle it actually only took a day for it to settle so what I'm about to do is show you how I'm going to measure for my spacers as you can see the suspension has settled nicely already the front of course that's the rear so we are all set to do to take the measurements for the spacers. All right, so what I do is I take a piece of fishing line and a little counterweight, which I'm using a, a clamp for right here, and a, a metric ruler. All I do <coughs> is take this, center it on the center cap, we're centering the counterweight on the center cap, and measure from the lip of the wheel to the fishing line. So with this my front should need I can do a 10 or a 15 up here. So I'll probably go 15. Let's go to the back. I do the same thing on this side. Well on the rear excuse me. I get my counterweight, or my weight, whatever you want to call it. Get it even with the center cap, and I measure it the exact same way. With this one on the rear, that's a 15. I can actually do 20s back here. Because the way this tire is designed, is kind of half weight, not half weight, but it's a little stretched. I don't like stretched tires, but that's the way they're designed. 
And plus with this ruler, I got this little tip right here. So that's a couple of millimeters anyway. I'm coming up with a 15. Let me say, yeah, I can do 20s on the back and 15s on the front. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Monday has rolled around and um, I still never put my spaces on. And you gotta kind of excuse me from the way I'm talking right now. I had some serious pain in my jaw back here. I thought it was my tooth, but it's not as much jaw. Either way, I can't really open my mouth. Kind of feel like Kanye when he had his shit wired shut. But anyway, um, yeah, I had my dino day on Saturday and um, I anticipated putting my spaces on when I got home. That didn't happen. Um, yesterday was Easter didn't happen so yeah I'm probably just not gonna put them on until I gotta go back into the wheels again um, that may be sometime soon because I don't like the brake pads that are on the car they dust up something serious man I'm talking about like wow I'm, I understand why my basket wheels are so dirty I've cleaned my wheels a good five times this weekend alone so I'll probably uh, go ahead and order me some good ceramic pads something that doesn't dust up nearly as bad and uh, slap those on and when I put those pads on, I'll go ahead and put the spacers on at that time. So, all that being said, this video is over and done with. Uh, my usual thing, and it's very true, I don't see it just to be saying it. I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. Uh, the feedback that, you know, the handful of people that actually do, you know, leave messages. I appreciate it. Tell your friends about me. Ring the bell, like, subscribe, all that good jazz. I do appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.